The American fashion icon, Gloria Vanderbilt, has died. She was 95. She'd been suffering from stomach cancer. She was a pioneer of designer jeans and later expressed her artistic flair through painting and writing. The BBC's Tim Orman looks back on her life and career. Nineteen eighty and a fashion show very much of its time. Then of course there are jeans, the basic in any girl's wardrobe. But these weren't any old jeans, these were Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. A cut above, exclusive, but not that exclusive. You know, I think the whole point of fashion and the whole fun of fashion is that it makes a woman feel easy, at ease with herself and also her best self. And you feel your best self if you're wearing something that you feel comfortable in. Her death was announced by her youngest son, the American television journalist Anderson Cooper. He described it as an extraordinary woman who loved life and lived it on her own terms. Despite her age, he said, the people around her would say that she was the youngest person they knew. Gloria Vanderbilt was born in New York in 1924. She was famous before she could walk. An illustrious family name, she inherited much of her father's fortune when she was still a baby, leading to the nickname Poor Little Rich Girl. A notorious custody battle involving her mother and her auntie followed, dubbed the Trial of the Century. Then there were the four marriages, the death of a son. Her life was full of incident. Away from her fashion empire, she was a writer, an actress and an accomplished painter. Gloria Vanderbilt came from an extraordinary background and lived an extraordinary life. One magazine described her as a feminine version of the Renaissance man. Tim Orman there on Gloria Vanderbilt, who's died at the age of 95.